Good evening. This week, workers began tearing down the vacant former Sears World Headquarters in Hoffman Estates before the site is turned into a data center. Now, these centers are popping up all over the suburbs, and now one Chicago alderman wants to bring more of them to the city. A plan is moving in city council to convert vacant Chicago land into data centers. At a cost of millions annually, city government stores its data at centers located outside of Chicago. Alderman Gilbert Viegas, chair of the Council Technology Committee, has written an ordinance requiring more city data be stored in the city. I mean, we have data, which is an asset that, that, that we're paying hyperscalers to store for us. And what we're seeing is that a lot of that data is not being stored within the city of Chicago, or really, quite frankly, in the state of Illinois. A data center is a physical facility used to house information and critical applications. Each center has routers, storage systems, and servers. Your phone is using a data center right now. The data that is being stored ties to a physical building. Even when people talk about the cloud, the cloud is a data center. It may be a cluster of data centers. Craig Huffman of Metro Edge Development Partners wants to build a data center in the Illinois Medical District using private funding. City of Chicago employees are required to live in Chicago. Our data is not. That's a question you should ask. And why aren't we leveraging that for economic development benefit? As he makes his pitch, Viegas is telling his colleagues data centers can help the city raise new property tax revenue. I would say over 10 years, you're talking about north of $100 million in, in property tax revenue. I got this idea from taking a look at Loudoun County. Loudoun County, Virginia went from $100 million in property tax revenue with data centers to $1 billion in property tax revenue. Alderman Viegas is working to build support for his measure, but some colleagues have raised concern about the amount of energy data centers use and the potential environmental impact. In my ordinance, there's a requirement that the sustain sustainability officer will create an interdepartmental working group so that way we can analyze all the new technology that's coming on board in order to address sustainability. Alderman Viegas will hold a hearing on his ordinance next Wednesday, hoping that the full city council takes it up later this month. From City Hall, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.